Hey guys, I'm Autumn Dawson and welcome to Limitless Live. And I just want to remind you that you are called to live a limitless life because we serve a limitless God, a God who looks at impossible situations and makes them possible. And I think about all of the things throughout scripture and that's the guide that he left us. That's the guidebook that he has for our life. I think about all of the things in scripture. I mean, Jesus, he opened blind eyes. He lifted bodies of water and made them walkways for men and women. He fed a whole entire group of people with a little boy's lunch, with Chick-fil-A. He made a meal for everybody. Imagine all of the powerful things, the limitless things that he did. And then this is what he did. He empowered us as his people, as his children to do this. Do that same thing. Let that same deutimous power that was inside of me, let it be in you. You go out and multiply, lay hands on the sick, live a limitless life because that's what he's called you to live. And one of my favorite scriptures, it's in Psalms and it says, they are gonna tell of all of the wonderful things about his kingdom and they're gonna preach about the limitless power and then they're gonna demonstrate it everywhere they go. And that's what we're called to be, demonstrators of the power of God, demonstrators of the love of God. And so this week, I hope you're gonna push yourself out there to do that, to demonstrate God's love everywhere you go. Don't limit yourself. Some of you have looked back at your past seasons. Some of you have looked back at what didn't work in your life. And so you put these little limitations on your life. But I wanna tell you today, you're not supposed to be limited. You are supposed to take off, forget those former things, forget about what happened in the past. There's a reason why it's behind you and move forward into the future. Move forward into the purposes and the plan that God has for your life. That's who you're called to. That's your heritage. You are a heritage of victory. Victory. And I don't know if you know that or not, but your heritage is victory. That's why Jesus came, to give you life and life more abundantly. Abundance belongs to you. And so I hope some of you are hearing this today and you're getting those little mindsets just broken and just deciding that I'm going to go deeper with God. I'm going to trust Him more. I'm going to say yes to Him and the little things. And one, one day I remember saying this to the Lord. I, I told him, I said, I wanna get really good at saying yes to you. I wanna get so good at saying yes to you that I don't have to think it through, like what's it gonna cost me? Because sometimes it costs you to say yes to God. Um, I don't wanna have to have all these reservations, you know, or I don't wanna play that game. I just want to get really good at saying yes to whatever you ask me to do. If it's at the grocery store, if it's in our home, if whatever it is, if it means changing my schedule around a little bit so that I can say yes to you, I want to get really good at saying yes to you. And this week I was just going about my little daily routine and I was in my son's room and I walked into his room because I was gonna dust it. You know, they've been home all summer long and they've been playing, they've had a great summer, but they are back in school. And so I decided, okay, I'm gonna dust this kid's room. I'm gonna get all the Legos out of the floor and I'm just gonna make sure everything is really clean. And so I pulled back the curtains in his room and I opened up the blinds and the beautiful Texas sunshine just began to shine through that room. In fact, it filled the whole room with sunlight. And all of a sudden, I began to notice some things. I began to notice that there was dust everywhere. There was dust in the atmosphere. There was dust on the lamp. There was dust on the baseboard. And we don't have any carpet in our house. There was just dust everywhere uh, in the room. And I thought, wow, I thought this room looked pretty good. I didn't know all, that, all of this was going on. And so I began to just clean it. And I began to clean all the little areas that I didn't see before. Because oftentimes, um, we don't see everything that's going on in our lives. Maybe there are little hidden areas that we haven't said yes to God in. Maybe there are some blinders in our life where we don't see, you know, but that's why we need good mentors in our life. That's why we need people in our life who see the areas in our life who, who, that we don't see. That's why we need people in our life who are watching and, you know, encouraging and encouraging us. You don't need to walk this life alone. You need to have people in your corner who are praying for you. You need to have people in your life, mentors who can see things that maybe you don't see. Kind of like me when I pulled back that window 
and all of a sudden the light exposed every bit of the dust. And that's what the Holy Spirit, He immediately began to speak to me. And He began to say, when you go at life alone, it's like dusting in the dark. And I just thought, wow, if I had not opened up these blinds, if I had not opened up and let the light in, guess what? I would not have seen all of the little areas that looked clean that actually weren't. When we go at life alone, it's like dusting in the dark. We're, we're hitting a few top areas, we're getting a few things done, but there are areas in our life that are hidden that maybe we need to clean up so that God can move in that area, that He can make things work in that area, but maybe there's too, maybe there's some resentment there, maybe there's some hurt there, maybe there are some things there that we've not allowed anybody in to help us out with. And that's what accountability, that's what people in your life who love you and care about you will do. They'll expose those things, not to punish you, but to help you get it out. I did not want all of that dust in Ezra's room. So I was really excited when the light exposed it because you know what? Then I could take care of it. There's nothing like, if you're a woman listening to me today, there's nothing like cleaning something and then realizing you missed a few spots. And that's what the truth will do. It will expose everything so that you can get it right. And that's what God's Word does. So I wanna encourage you today, if you're not having that time in the Word, time in the truth, so that you can expose every area of our lives, because we, wanna, we don't wanna dust in the dark. I don't wanna go back and then find things like, how did that get there? Uh, we want people in our lives, we want God's truth in our lives so that we can move forward and past all of the things that are hidden in the corners. And I want to ask you just today, do you have some closed off areas in your heart that maybe you haven't allowed the Holy Spirit into? Do you have some areas where um, you can have all of this God, but just not this area? Well, it's like dusting in the dark. He wants every part of you, not to control you, but so that He can love those areas. You know, it didn't make me frustrated that I hadn't cleaned those areas. It exposed it so that I could. And that's the beauty of God, that it's not to, you know, punishment and correction are really different terms. His heart is not to punish you. His heart is to bring you into truth, to bring you into healing. He wants to love those areas in you that hurt. He wants to bring you past those areas um, that you've been stuck in. And that's the beauty of who he is. So. Are you dusting in the dark today? If you are, allow the truth in. Allow a mentor, someone in your life to speak into you without offense and without hurt. Allow those people to speak into you so that you can impact your world, so that you can clean out every area of your heart. And this is one thing I want you to do. Get really good at saying yes to God, no matter what the cost. Get really good at saying yes to whatever he asks you to do. Because remember, you are supposed to live a limitless life. And so I want to call you into that today. Let's go out there and reshape our world. And we do that by expressing his lavish love on everyone that we meet. So, all my limitless people, I'm glad to see you today. And don't be dusting in the dark. <laughs>